Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to TC's Model Works. How are we doing? I hope everything's all right. As you can see, we have the Ford Escort Mark II Zack Speed on the uh, the little paint plinth, as I call it. Um, it is completed. I have finally finished this one. Uh, one, it's not sitting straight for some reason. There we go, that's better. Um, so yeah, as you can see, all nicely done. And it's been a long build, this one, to be honest. Um, I got a little bit carried away with some extra bits on it that I normally wouldn't have done. Um, but I have tried my best to sort of go a bit full ham on one. I like to do a nice challenge on one every now and again. Um, and this being the kit it is, um, it's not the easiest of kits to build. Uh, if anyone's built the Italeri Mark II Escort rally car, this is slightly better to put together, um, but it's still not the best out there, if you know what I mean. So it's not a Tamiya kit, it's not an Aoshima kit, um, but it is definitely, you know, it's still a Mark II Escort, which is what draws my attention to it. Uh, so yeah, should we have a look at it? I'll zoom you in a little bit. <laughs> look at that. I love these, I absolutely love these cars. So I'm gonna take the bonnet off, you can sort of see in there, there's some extras going in in there. We'll have a little scan around on it to start with. Uh, a couple of little blemishes in the paint, nothing super drastic, but still enough for me to be irritated by it. But lovely glossy finish to it now. Uh, I smoothed off the holes in the boot here. Uh, you can still sadly see where they've sunk a little bit, so they are still visible. We've gone for the aftermarket style rear lights on it, which are red and clear. Um, recently become reproduced for the real cars, which is quite nice. A couple of little stickers on. We've got the uh, the old school Ford along the centre here, and the Escort badge here, and then a nice little window sticker as well. Um, and then these are the wheels from the rally car kit. So we've made those fit um, rather than using the the Zack Speed wheels because. To be honest, these ones these ones suit a Mark II Escort better. Don't know what I'm going to use the other wheels for, but we'll use a set of these on this one anyway. So let's look at some extras that we've done for it. Um, we have got inside a full set of four-point harnesses, three-point harnesses, sorry. Let's see if we can see in there. Yeah, you can just about see in through the windows. Okay, so in there we've got some nice blue harnesses. We've also got a hydraulic handbrake. I think I showed this on an earlier video, which you can just about see there. Um, and inside we've also got cables running from the boot. So we've got fuel line from the fuel tank running through and a power cable running through from the back. Let's see if we can see it in through the back window here. Yeah, you can just about see the, uh, the power cable there. Fuel lines down this side because you don't want those matching in a real car. You don't want them running next to each other. There is also, if you can just about see it, copper cable uh, running from the hydraulic handbrake in the centre there, which then runs through in underneath. You can just see it comes out under there, into the rear axle and into the brakes either side. And also the power cable coming through underneath, right the way through into the uh, starter motor, because that's what we do to, to bypass all the rest of it on the real ones. Uh, while we're under here, some slight modifications. I've extended the axle on both sides and I've extended the track on the front as well because they just sit in way too far on, on this model for some reason. Moving back top side, we have got the lovely uh, RS1800 BDA engine, I believe, uh, on uh, 3D printed twin 45 carburetors. Um, We've got the standard radiator, a little washer bottle that I've added, and you can see the washer tubing running up here, doing what it does on the real ones. Um, brake bias box, um, what are they called? Uh, pots for the for the brake fluid. Um, I've tried running the fuel line all the way through into the carbs uh, with the overflow at the top. Um, and then we've got the ignition leads put in. I say that coil, one of my mates made this coil by hand just turn a bit of plastic and a little metal strip around it. It just looks the part, it's absolutely superb. So yeah, that pretty much covers all the little extras. Got some clear front indicators on it, which again is not factory, but is an option you can buy. 
And then one of my favorite bits about this one, look at that sticker, look, what does it say here? So the one that dies with the most, with, with the most toys wins. I thought that was quite appropriate for what we're building here. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. I'm really, really glad to see that it's finished. And I think it's turned out absolutely lovely. Um, I'm not sure what to build next. I've got, I've got a couple of cars lined up to do. I need to get this bonnet to sit a bit more flush. I think one of the cables is pushing it up still slightly. Um, yeah, I've got Mark 2, Mark 1 Golf that I started that my son wants to be purple. So possibly do that one next. Um, but I've got so many kits, like some of you guys, how you choose what you're building when you've got like 150 kits or whatever. I mean, I've got probably 30 and I am like, where, where do I start? What do I do next? Um, so I've got a few builds that I've started. I haven't finished yet. Uh, which is partly why I wanted to finish this one. Um, so I finished this last night, um, and I just wanted to I just wanted to button this one up. I'd done all the little bits I wanted to do to it. Right, let's get it glued together, you know. Um, but yeah, I don't know what to do next, to be honest. I've got quite a selection to play with. Um, we'll see what comes out of the box next, basically. Um, yeah. But yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Do you like the road car version of the Zack Speed? Um, I say I don't do race cars. You guys know this. Um, so... It was, it was never going to be a full Zack Speed as per the box. Um, but yeah, I think it's turned out really nice. I'm really, really happy with it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. So I shall catch you all soon. Give me a like, comment and all of that sort of jazz. And thank you to all my new subscribers as well, because I'm, I'm, I've just hit 350, which to me is insane. Like 350 people wanting to see what I'm doing next is, you know, that's insane to me. So thank you very much for the uh, for the continued support, guys. And um, maybe when we get to 500, I might do some kind of giveaway or something like that. Um, not entirely sure yet, but we'll work it out. I could be could be waiting another two years for that. You know, I've been here just over a year now. I think it is on YouTube, and it's taken me this long to get to 350. Hopefully, it starts to pick up a bit of speed or something. I don't know, but either way, I'm very grateful and very happy for you guys that do tune in and watch what i'm doing listen to what i'm saying and uh and like what i'm building you know keep me posted guys so yeah i will catch you all soon have a good one thanks very much bye bye